Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the B-Point Show. I'm your host B-Point and today I'll be showing you all the best ways to increase your honor fast so you can unlock the unique good honor grip, then the best ways to lose all that honor just as fast and without a bounty so you can also get the unique low honor grip all in just a few hours after unlocking the free in chapter 2. A little fact about Red Dead Redemption 2 before we start though. Raising your honor is way harder than losing it. So if you have neutral honor, which you usually do once you get to chapter 2, it's best to try and raise it to the maximum level allowed, then to drop it to the minimum as you'll avoid a bit of unnecessary grind time in your quest to acquire the unique revolver grips. So without further ado, let's see how to increase your honor fast. There are multiple ways to increase your honor in this game, but not all are made equal. To increase your honor, you can donate cash to the camp. Donate jewelry to the camp. Do chores around the camp. Help people in need. Mister. I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. Disarm an opponent instead of killing him during a duel. After catching a fish, you're quite a fish. Gar? Yeah, I think so. You can release it back into the water. Swim away, little fella. But all those methods take way too much time or are too random to be reliable for someone who wants to raise his honor fast. Nah fam, for me, the best method to increase honor is to say hi to people. Hi there, mister. Now one of the best locations to do this would be Saint Denis, as the jewel city of Le Moyne is full of citizens ready to be saluted by Mr. Morgan. Okay, now that we've reached Saint Denis, let's start this howdy speed run, cowboy. A few moments later. Morning, man. Dutton, that's no excuse. Is there a problem here, partner? It's the fella took our weapon. Oh God yeah. Can't we just forget about that? Enemies of the morning. Jesus, no need to be so aggressive. Oh come on, dudes! Let's just forget about this. Jesus, stop it! I'm trying to be a nice fellow today, please! Ugh, fine, you asked for it. Angry <coughs> uh, anyway, let's uh, carry on, shall we? Much, much, much later. This Hello and Howdy adventure should take you between 1 to 2 in game days to reach 80% good honor. The cap for good honor until chapter 6. And once you are done, you need to visit any gunsmith in the world, let's say the one in Saint Denis for this example. Interact with the shopkeeper by going to customization, select the cattleman revolver, go to components. Then select grip. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. And there it is, the badass hero pearl grip. Now acquire it, partner, and let's get on to losing all that honor we've worked so hard for, so we can buy the other unique grip in Red Dead Redemption 2. What's your quarrel? Just as there are several methods of gaining honor, there are also multiple ways of losing it. Those include beating innocent folks, stealing a stagecoach. Stealing a horse. Get down. Killing a horse. Killing farm animals. Killing pets such as dogs. Looting the corpses of innocent folks. 
rob people. Give me your money. It ain't worth dying. Here, here, just take it. Rob a store. As you're doing business with you, I'm gonna close this shop. Kill a bunch of wild animals in a limited amount of time. And of course, kill innocent folks. Now looking at the above options, there's none that jumps out as particularly good way to lose honor fast. And most of them get you into trouble with the law pretty quickly. And let's be honest, no one really wants a big bounty on their ass. But what if I told you that there is a place where you can commit as many crimes as your heart desires with no law repercussion whatsoever, and that place is Van Horn, one of the very few locations on the map where law does not exist. The moment you reach the rundown port in New Hanover, it's time to prepare your arsenal and put on your best Michael impression on the poor residents of this town. Now of course, once you start shooting, people will retaliate, but no bounty will be applied to the player and your honor will start dropping fairly quickly. The moment you've killed everyone in town, you will need to spawn some more victims. One method to do this would be to go outside the town, let Arthur recover his breath for a few moments, then go back and you will see that some people have already respawned and are eagerly waiting to be murdered. A second method to spawn people back in town would be to camp somewhere nearby and sleep a few hours. Then when you wake up and enter the city again, you will see that everyone has respawned, so happy shooting cowpoke. Hold up! Wait a minute! Something ain't right! A third method to spawn more people would be to go to Annesburg, simply just take the stagecoach, which apparently is still functional and willing to serve the mass murderer Arthur Morgan. Once you reach Annesburg, immediately hop on your horse and enter to Van Horn. And the moment you reach this cursed town, you will see that everyone has respawned and you can proceed with your shooting. Once all the genocide has been done and Arthur Honor has dropped to minus 80%, the cap for his low honor until chapter 6, you can go to any gunsmith in the world, let's say the Annesburg one, Hello, welcome back. What can I select customization you? and the double action revolver, then go to components. Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see that. Grips, 
And there it is, the Sea Gunslinger Ebony Grip. Now it's even better. And finally, let's head out of town and test our new and improved badass revolvers. Ah, uh, god damn it, game! I was only shooting a tree stump for fuck's sake. Ah, uh, god damn it, game! God damn it, game! God damn it, game! I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial on how to get your hands on these two badass unique revolver grips. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and maybe check out some of the other cool Red Eye Redemption 2 content on my channel. See you, cowboy.